Is it daytime or nighttime? Like, uh, are you sitting or standing? Standing. Are you inside or outside? Out. Where are you? Are you there alone? I, what? Yeah, I can't make it out. Mm -hmm. Are you there alone or someone else there with you? Alone. Mm -hmm. How do you feel there? I'm just standing. Mm -hmm. Do you feel young or old? Young. Young. How young do you feel? Little. Mm -hmm. What age do you feel? Five. Mm -hmm. You feel male or female? Female. Mm -hmm. When you're standing there outside at night, what's happening there? I can't see. Mm -hmm. Well, how are you dressed? It's dark. Mm hmm. What's the temperature like? It's cold. How cold? It's a little breezy or really cold, like you need a jacket. I need a jacket. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing a jacket? No. What are you wearing? My arms are out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you wear? I have on no shoes. You have on shoes? No shoes. No shoes. Mm -hmm. Mommy. What do you look? Will you look at your skin? What does your skin look like? I can't see. It's dark. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so how you when you're standing there? How do you feel? What emotions do you feel? Scared, alone. Afraid, alone. Mm -hmm. If you're five years old and you're outside there at night, where are your parents? Are they nearby? Or are they? <clears throat> are they they was in the car. They were in the car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where are they now? In the car. And they're in the car. And where there was this car that they're in? Over there. Mm hmm You can see the car? Mm hmm mm hmm What's this car look like? Crashed. Crashed car. Mm hmm What else do you notice around you? Trees. Trees. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happens next as you're standing there and you're watching your parents in this crash, this car that crashed. Are you inside that car? No. You weren't. Is this place where you're standing, is this where you live? No. No? So how did you get there? In the car. In the car. And you got out of the car after the crash? Yeah. Mm hmm So tell me what happens next as you're there waiting and you're standing. Does anyone come? No. No. I'm coming. Mm-hmm. 
don't know what's happening. Noise. Mm -hmm. What kind of noise? The car noise. The car noise. Mm -hmm. The engine's still running. Is that what you hear? I hear the, the beat noise. Mm -hmm. My stomach hurts. Your stomach hurts. Mm -hmm. Look at your stomach. Tell me. What do you see there? It's like it hurts on my stomach inside. Mm -hmm. But I don't see nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your parents are inside. What are they doing inside the car? I see something white out the wheel. Something white on the wheel? Out the wheel. <clears throat> out the wheel? The, the steering, the, the what they drive with. Oh, okay. The airbags, perhaps? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see that. And I, my dad's leaned on it. Mm hmm What about your mom? What is she doing? I can't see her. I don't want to go near the car. Mm -hmm. It's okay. You don't have to go near the car. You can stay where you are. And just tell me what happens next. My head hurts so now. My head and my stomach hurts. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Well, I'm still standing here, but I hear a noise. It's loud and closer. Mm -hmm. Tell me what that noise is so it gets loud and closer. It's the rescues. The rescue? Mm -hmm. And tell mm -hmm. me what happens when they get there. They run to the car, one run to me. Mm -hmm. And what did it say to you? Am I okay? Mm -hmm. And what do you tell them? My belly, my head. Mm -hmm. They have a blanket. Mm hmm. What's your name there? Alice. Alice. <clears throat> and what year is it there, Alice? I don't know the year. Mm -hmm. And where do you live? In a house. Mm -hmm. You know the name of the town where you live? Britain. Repeat that. Britain. Britain? Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. And tell me what happens next, Alice. They have some long thing going to the car. Mm hmm The stretcher. Mm hmm And tell me what happens next. I don't think my dad's okay. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. I don't see my mom in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
My dad has blood coming off his head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't see no more. They hold me. They're holding you? Mm-hmm. Who's holding you? The big jacket. Mm-hmm. They went to the other truck. I can't see. Mm-hmm. Alice, what's your parents' name? Huh? What's your parents' name, Alice? George. And George. Mm-hmm. What about your mom? What's her name? Marsha. Marsha. Mm-hmm. Are you still there with that? Person who has you in that big jacket? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Describe this person. What do they look like? They have the helmet thing on. Mm-hmm. I can only see the jacket, the helmet, mm-hmm. and the, the skin. Same as mine. The skin is yours? The same as mine. And what color is your skin? White. Mm-hmm. You ask that person, talk to them, ask them, what year is it? What year is it? 76. 1976. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, tell me what happens next, Alice. The other truck is gone. The other truck is gone. Mm-hmm. You asked him where your mom is? She wasn't in there. She wasn't there? Okay. No. Mm-hmm. Was she Just there? me and my dad. Just you and your dad. Mm-hmm. So tell me what happens next. <laughs> my mom. Mm-hmm. Your mom? She, yeah. <laughs> she was scared. What did she say to you? She ran to me. I was happy to see her. Mm -hmm. I was scared. I I told her my belly hurts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She said it's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. I told her dad. And she looked. I touched her face. She looked like she crying. Mhm. Mhm. She's talking to the guy that in the jacket. Mhm. We walk into the car. Mhm. And what did they, <clears throat> what did the guy say to say to her in the jacket? Dad's on the way to the hospital. Mhm. Describe your mom as what she look like. She has a white dress. She's pretty. She has curly hair. Mm-hmm. She has a pearl around her neck mm-hmm. and her ear. Mm-hmm. She's oh, tall, too. Pretty. Tall and pretty. Mm-hmm. I have the same color hair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want you to connect with your mom's energy. Connect with your mom's energy. Tell me if you notice her, her energy, if you recognize her energy as anyone in your current life. Yeah. And who is it? All right. Okay, so Alice, tell me what happens next. Your mom, you and your mom, what do you, what do, you do after that? We're in the car. Mm-hmm. She seems scared. Mm-hmm. Is it just you and her in the car, or is there someone else mm-hmm. there? Mm-hmm. Just me and her. What does she say to you? She's not saying nothing. She just she has a look mm-hmm. as she's driving. Mm-hmm. 
I think we're going to the hospital. Mm-hmm. We're at the hospital. Mm-hmm. Mom's talking to the doctor in the white coat. Mm-hmm. She's crying. Mm-hmm. He's holding her. Mm-hmm. I don't think dad made it. Mm-hmm. And how do you feel there? Scared. I'm holding my mom's leg. Mm-hmm. And she's crying bad. Mm-hmm. The doctor's walking away. Mm-hmm. She holds me. Mm-hmm. Dad didn't make it. Mm-hmm. And how does it make you feel? You know your dad didn't make it. It hurts me. Mm-hmm. Okay, Alice, go ahead and <clears throat> close this scene, Alice. Close this scene. And I want you to go to the very next important event in that lifetime. It's Alice, the very next important event in that lifetime where something important is happening. <clears throat> the very next important event in that lifetime. That same lifetime as, as Alice. You there now. Tell me what's happening. I'm dancing. Mm -hmm. Dancing. How old are you there? Seventeen. And who are you there with? It's a show. A show. What kind of show? A recital. I do ballerina. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel there? I'm happy. I'm nervous. Ready. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where's your mom? She should be here. I'm in the back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So tell me what happens next. I'm tying my shoes. We're about to go on stage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I look pretty. Mm-hmm. I have this nice gold bun, too. Mm-hmm. They're calling us. We have to go. Mm-hmm. So tell me what happened sex. I'm dancing. Mm-hmm. I'm actually spinning. Mm-hmm. I see my mom too. She's smiling. Mm-hmm. How long have you been dancing, Alice? Um, since I was five. Mm-hmm. Is this a very school? good at it? Is this a school recital? Yes. Mm-hmm. I, I go to ballerina school. Mm-hmm. I was actually on my way to a recital when we got into an accident. Mm-hmm. I lost my dad at that time. Mm-hmm. How's your life been different since that happened? Well, it's just me and my mom. Mm-hmm. We've been okay. We've been getting by. Mm-hmm. 
I see her sit alone sometimes, but I know it's because of my dad. Mm-hmm. I think about him too. Mm-hmm. I just want my mom to be happy again. Mm-hmm. I know my dad would want to too, but <sighs> mom. Mm-hmm. Mom only seemed to love dad. Mm-hmm. And me. Mm-hmm. So tell me what happens after the recital. I'm backstage with my friends. Mm-hmm. I'm getting my coat. Mm-hmm. I see my mom. I'm, I'm, bye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My mom is kissing me and hugging me. I did a good job. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Tell me what happens after you leave the recital. Where do you go? To the car. Mm-hmm. And tell me, where do you drive to? We're going home. I'm home. Awesome. Awesome. So go ahead and close that scene. Alice, close that scene. And I want you to go to the very next important event in that life. The very next important event in that same lifetime where something important is happening. Be there now. Where are you? I'm home. But I got a letter. Mm-hmm. Oh. I got it. I got accepted. Mm-hmm. Got accepted to where? Columbus. Mm-hmm. And I can still do dance there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How old are you there? Mm-hmm. And how do you feel? Or? I'm happy. Mm-hmm. My mom's happy too. Awesome. I'm running up the stairs. I have to tell my friends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you tell your friends, what do they say? We're screaming. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Hey, okay, Alice, I want you to go ahead and close that scene. Close that scene and go to the very next important event in that same lifetime. The very next important event in that lifetime where something important is happening. Be there now. What's happening? What's going on? I'm at a building. In a building. Mm-hmm. I'm standing outside of it. I'm looking. Mm-hmm. How do you feel there? Happy. I'm here. Mm-hmm. What is this building you're standing outside of? It says Columbia. Mm-hmm. How old are you there? I'm 18. Mm-hmm. So tell me what happens next when you're standing outside that building. I get greeted. Mm-hmm. Oh, this guy. Mm-hmm. He's handsome too. Mm-hmm. Describe this guy. 
He's tall. He has a beard. Mm -hmm. He seems nice. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to look too much, make it obvious. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happens next. I walk into school with my bags. Do you have any friends attending Columbia there? No, it's just me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where do you go once you enter the building? Into a room. Mm -hmm. What room is that? It's where I'm going to be living. Mm -hmm. In your dorm room? Yeah, I put my bag on the bed. Mm -hmm. And are you going to be in that room alone, or, or is someone else going to be with you? It's just me for right now, I see. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like breathtaking. Mm -hmm. awesome. And go ahead and close that scene, Alice. Close that scene. I want you to go to the very next important event in that lifetime. Very next important event in that lifetime. Something else important is happening. Be there now. Tell me where you are. A coffee shop. Coffee shop. How old are you there? 21. 21. Mm-hmm. Are you there alone or someone else with you? I'm with a guy. Mm -hmm. Who's this guy? Larry. Larry. And how do you know Larry? Um, I met him the first day of school for me. Mm-hmm. Is Larry your friend? We were friends and we started dating. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel there? I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I'm talking. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? What happened in class? And as you sit there and talk, go ahead. It happened in geometry. What happened in geometry? Oh, the students. With the professor. Mm -hmm. What's your major, Alice? What are you studying? To be a nurse. Be a nurse. Yeah. Mm. How do you feel? I remember a white coat from when my dad passed, mm -hmm. and I want to wear that same white coat. And actually, in, instead of telling someone that they're going to pass, to be actually saving them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So I want you to go ahead and close that scene, Alice. Close that scene. And I want you to go to the very last day in that lifetime. The very last day in that lifetime is Alice. Before you take your last breath in that lifetime. Be there now. Where are you? Mm -hmm. On the bed. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? 76. Mm -hmm. My hair is gray. Mm -hmm. How do you feel there? It's hard to breathe. Hard to breathe. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or is there someone with you? Someone's with me. Who's that person? My daughter. Your daughter. What's your daughter's name? 
Marianne. Mm-hmm, Marianne. How old is Marianne? Twenty-two. Mm-hmm. And what did she say to you? She's holding my hand. Mm-hmm. She's sitting at the foot of the bed. Mm-hmm. She says, okay. I can't talk. It's, it's tubes in my mouth. Mm-hmm. I'm just a, looking at her. Are you in a hospital or are you at home? I'm home. Mm-hmm. I'm just looking at her. Mm-hmm. And as you lay there, are you aware that those are your last moments? Yeah, feel it. Mm-hmm. I want to tell her it's okay. I'm leaving. And I love her, but I can't. Mm-hmm. So you can experience this without feeling the symptoms that you're feeling. You can you want, you can view it from above. So tell me, that life that you live, like, as you look over your life, Alice, what was the purpose and lesson of that life? I became a doctor. You became a doctor. Mm-hmm. I got married and had Marianne. Mm-hmm. I saved lives, but some I couldn't save. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And are you happy with the life that you've lived? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would you say the purpose of that life was? The purpose of that life? Mm Mm-hmm. The purpose of that me living that life what was a lesson you was learn. People are here to live and to go. Sometimes it may not be what we expect. You can only save a few, mm-hmm. and I did that. Mm-hmm. I know my dad couldn't been saved, but I was able to save other lives Mm -hmm. and I still felt like I saved my dad's Mm -hmm. because I made him proud I did something Mm -hmm. I made him proud Mm -hmm. so go ahead and take your last breath in that body and as your spirit leaves that body and floats above that scene when you look down below what do you see Happiness. Happiness. Mm -hmm. A lot of laughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was was it difficult for you to leave that body? No. Awesome. Awesome. And tell me, what happens to your spirit? Does it go to the light? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. I meet John. Repeat that. I meet John. You meet John? Mm-hmm. Who's John? Who's John? He was a drunk. He was a drunk. And where'd you mm-hmm. meet, where'd you meet John? He was walking. Mm -hmm. And why didn't you go to the light, Alex? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Are you still attached to John's body? 
Mm-hmm. What part of the John's body are you attached to? His heart. Mm-hmm. So would you like me to assist you going to the light now, Alex? Mm-mm. I like it, John. Why? He's an asshole. Mm-hmm. That was nice. Mm-hmm. What's nice? That was nice. John's not so nice. Mm-hmm. So what are you getting by being attached to John? What are you wanting out of that? I try to teach him love, but he's not nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Alice, understand that everybody has free will. Everybody has free will. You can't force someone to do something against their will. You have to allow them that ability to do that in your life. As Alice, before you lost your body, you were helping people to live. Now you think it's only right and fair that you allow John to live the life the way he wants to live it? Don't you think that's fair? No, he needs to be nicer. Mm -hmm. His cough is getting bad. Mm -hmm. So you being there, how do you think that's going to help John? I make his heart. Make his heart do what? I make his heart try to love. Try to love. Mm Mm-hmm. 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 And did John ask you to attach to him? No, I just saw him walking. Mm-hmm. And he was so mean. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, I'm so nice. I can help him. Mm-hmm. You know, you can do so much more work in the light and allow John to make his own decisions. I know you mean well. You have to allow John to make his own decisions. Is there any other reason you didn't go to the light, Alice? I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. I have to help more. To help more. And so you know you can do more help from the light. Maybe you can guide John as uh, one of his guides. He needs me here. Mm-hmm. Without me here, he's going to be mean. Well, you know, everybody has their own purpose and their own experiences in life. As spiritual beings, we come here with particular uh, experiences that we set forth, that we mm-hmm. plan. And those experiences are supposed to help us evolve. They're supposed to help us evolve and uh, learn new lessons and continue uh, to advance as spiritual beings. But you being there and fooling to him in that way is taking away from his ability to learn those lessons and to evolve. He wanted to do it in that way. And by you attaching to him, you're robbing him of that that experience that he wanted to have to learn to advance his soul and to have those experiences. So you'd be doing a lot more help if you were to leave and allow him to, to complete with his purpose in life. You understand that? Mm, I hear you. Is there anyone in the light that you'd like to see again? My dad. Your dad. Don't you think your dad's been waiting for you? Don't you think he's been longing to see you again? Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice to see his face again and hug him? Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Would you like me to have your dad meet you in the light? Yeah. Awesome. So before you go, Alice, I need you to pull up everything that you brought with you when you attach to John. Pull it all up. You're going to take that with you when you leave, okay? Okay. Let me know when you have it.
Let me know when you have it all. Can you handle it? Or do you need some assistance? I need some help. Okay. It's a lot of stuff. Okay. So I want to call on the guides of... I asked them to come and assist Alice with pulling everything up that she brought with her when she attached to John. I asked them to pull it all up. Do you see them, Alice? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How are they helping you? How are they helping you? They got it. Got it. Awesome. <clears throat> awesome. So, I know that you have everything. Alice, I want you to look off into the distance. And in the distance, you'll notice a very bright light. And from that light, you'll notice someone coming to greet you. Do you see them? <laughs> yes, my dad. Mm -hmm. And what does he say to you, Alice? I have his arms open. I feel mm -hmm. like a little girl again. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So go ahead, Alice, take everything that you brought with you. Go ahead and follow your father into the light. And may the light and love of the creator be with you. Thank you so much. <laughs>